Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials, and today I'm going to take a look at the SSL eChannel Strip, which is a UAD power plugin by Universal Audio. So this is what the interface looks like. It's been divided into three sections. On the left, we've got our dynamics. In the middle, we've got our EQ section, and on the right, we've got our in and output section. I'm mainly going to focus on the equalizer section for today. I'm going to start walking you through the whole plugin. So here on the left top, we've got our filter section, which consists of a high pass and a low pass filter. Below that, we've got a dynamic section with a compressor and an expander. We've got these three switches here in the bottom, which uh, allow us to bypass the whole dynamic section. And then we can turn on or off the expander and the compressor. Then in the middle here, we've got our EQ section, which consists out of four different EQ bands. You can see they're color coded by the color of the caps on the knob and that uh, really represents each band so that's real helpful to quickly identify on which EQ that we're working. On the top we've got a high shelving EQ that consists out of two parameters. It's got a gain and it's got a frequency selection. It has a function that we can actually select this shelving type to be a bell type but it's not a fully parametric EQ because it does not have a Q value. The two bands below that, which are the high mids and the low mids, do have a Q value. So these are two full parametric equalizers. You got two bands for that, and you can see that the frequencies do overlap a little bit. The top one goes from 600 hertz up to 7 kilohertz, and the lower one goes from 200 hertz up to 2.5 kilohertz. You can see it's a pretty flexible type of EQ because we can uh, actually see the Q value as well as the symbol for the low bandwidth and the high bandwidth. Then here we have a low shelving type of EQ which is identical to the high shelving because it only has two parameters and that is the gain and the frequency selection and again we can set this to be a bell type, type of curve instead of a shelving type. We can turn on or off the EQ section with this knob below here and uh, we can actually have this selected before the dynamics as it is normally after the dynamics. Then in the middle we've got this send to dynamics side chain option which we also find here on the top for the filter which we can also send there. And what that does is that allows us to basically remove the EQ from the audio path and it's going to send just the EQ signal to the side chain of the dynamics. That way if we boost let's say this frequency region around uh, 3 kilohertz it's going to compress this 3 kilohertz region a lot more. Well, if we go into the higher frequency range and make it a little bit well, narrower curve like so, we could actually create a de with this sidechain option. So that's what this uh, dynamic sidechain switch on the EQ does and it actually takes off the EQ from the signal that's being processed by the plugin. Then uh, I've got this select button here in the middle and that actually allows us to switch between two different types of equalizers. This one is called the black knob and this is called the brown knob EQ. And you can see it actually changes the knob color uh, of the low shelving type EQ. Uh, the main difference between these two different types of curves is the Q value curve that's being used. The bells that we use on the shelving will be different for the black and the brown knob as well. It also changes the per octave cut or the slope of the filters. Then here on the right we've got our in and output section in which we have a input gain, an output gain, a phase reverse switch and an actual bypass to bypass the whole channel strip. The dynamic section also gives a lot of that SSL character and life to your signal. It uh, consists out of a compressor and an expander. We've got uh, three different modes for the expander and uh, we can select that with this uh, switch right here. The first one is called the EX which is the, the normal expander and that uses the 1 to 2 expand ratio. The G1 is the gate number 1. It actually uses this range uh, to determine the amount of attenuation below the threshold. And the G2 uses the uh, intelligent circuitry from SSL in their boards, which actually prevents your gate from scattering a lot. So it, it kind of introduces a little bit of a hold time to make sure that your gate won't close uh, and you will really prevent that scattering gate sound with it. So we've got a compressor as well, and that is uh, well really giving that SSL type bite to your signal. I think uh, if you wanna know more about compressors and expanders, you should check out some of my uh, other tutorials right here. 
In a recent video I've talked about harmonic distortion and I was kind of curious to see how much uh, has been emulated by this plugin. So to test that I've imported a couple of pure sine waves at various frequencies. I'm running my signal first through the uh, SSL channel strip and here at the end I'm running it through a frequency analyzer. I'll just show you uh, the pure sine wave so everything is bypassed right now. You can see these are just pure sine waves at various frequencies. Now I'm going to enable the SSL channel strip. You can see these small peaks here are actually added harmonics by the plugin. So what it does, it does do a pretty good job of emulating some analog equipment by adding harmonics. I've compared that with the original EQ and compressor that come with Cubase 5 and uh, I could actually see that that did not add any harmonic distortion, it was just doing its its pure job and it is to compress and to equalize but it doesn't add any uh, harmonics so it's pretty neat to see that they actually emulated that behavior quite well um, so how can I effectively use that in a mix and that is to insert the channel strip on as many tracks as I possibly can to emulate the harmonic distortion to its fullest that way I can basically emulate working on a uh, on a real analog board in my software so that was a pretty cool test and I was kind of excited to actually see See that it does add some harmonics. I uh, hope you've learned something today about the SSL channel strip which is uh, a UAD powered plugin by Universal Audio. I uh, suggest you'll check it out if you got an uh, UAD card you can get the free trial from their website. Once again this was Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials. I hope you've learned something today and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace!